This is Rick from Shooter 1721. <laughs> what do we got here? We have the Diana Outlaw exclusively from Air Guns of Arizona. I want to thank you guys for sending this to us. It is an 11 shot, 22 mag fed side lever. Beautiful, beautiful gun. Love the checkering on it. Love the weight. The weight's coming in at about 6.75 pounds, 18 inch barrel, 41 and a half inches overall. I did a lot of testing yesterday to shoot different pellets through it, and you can see the pellets we have today. We d we're going to shoot some JSB 1589s. I'm going to shoot Barracuda Power JSB 18 grains, some GTOs just to see how they fly. And then, of course, the Barracuda Match really shot nice yesterday, and we are dealing with about 11, 11 to 12 mile an hour wind today. On top, the scope that we'll be shooting is the center point uh, uh, 3 to 12 by 44. This is a really nice scope for air guns of this caliber. Um, and what I mean by that is you're shooting in the 900 feet per second range. Uh, so I shoot a lot of 100 yards and under. I don't shoot a lot over 100 yards, so a 12 power scope for me is really good. Um, I want to thank, again, I want to thank Air Guns of Arizona for uh, giving Shooter 1721 their test run with this gun. But I also want to thank Mr. Dixon from JSB who constantly supports us and we just want to always say thank you and uh, always let people know uh, JSB pellets are some very awesome pellets. Everybody that I talk to, uh, the 18 grainers are just amazing, constantly amazing. And uh, But also want to thank uh, Air Venturi for airing us up in the field all the time and, and sticking with us. We want to thank them, Birchwood Casey for the targets. And now a new sponsor that's come in is, is Caldwell shooting supplies they they have actually come in and, and they're gonna be uh sending us some stuff we we have their stable table and stuff like that always want to say thanks to the sponsors enough talking let's get to the range and do some shooting okay here we are we're set up and we're gonna run the table first with the gto's upper left hand corner we're gonna shoot at so we got to get the light out so we got our set up here and we'll uh, see how the GTOs perform. Now the Diana Outlaw, this is 30 yards. Let's see how she performs. Nine fifty two. Nine sixty six. Nine seventy. See what we got here. I did a couple over the crony testing. I'm just gonna fire this one off. Yeah. All right. One thing I want to show you while loading this. So when you're putting pellets in, you need to push them down just a little bit. It does click nice. The mag is, is a nice mag, but I, I just, I just, <laughs> I guess I, when I got excited to get going on this video and put the other two in. So let me put the other two in. We'll shoot these, see how she does. I don't know if you can see that, but that's at 30 yards. That's a nice little group. That's a that's a half inch group. Which out of the so that's the Predator GTOs. That's pretty awesome. 967. I did shoot this uh, this gun uh, to see you know how many shots we would get at uh, at a total complete fill. And uh, we got 45 to 50, I think it was right not around 50, we were able to get a regulated shot. So now up is 18 grain JSB. So let me just bear with me as I load. My hands are a little bit too big to push these pellets down in. So this does have a magnet on the bottom. So when you slide this in and you have, you have your lever open, look, it went in by itself. 
and then you can see how nice the lever does work on this rifle for the price point of 499 it's really nice okay now now we're going 18 grain we're going upper right Okay. So there we go. 18 grains. The JSB shot very well. Now let's go to the center target and we'll do the Barracuda match and uh, get this set up while I load. Here we go. Barracuda match. Seven forty-eight. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> nice group there. 757, though. We're a little bit lower than what I was thinking, but okay. Now we got some Barracuda Power, so we're going to put them in here. Left hand corner now. I'm going to shoot one more for the complete group. Not bad. Not a bad group at 745 over the crony. All right. All right. Lower right hand corner. Let's see what we get. As you can see, there's a line up and down there. But we're in that beautiful range of the 890s. So what I'm going to do, finish shooting this, but you can see how that walked up and down. Okay, so that is really nice. So for a 50 yard test, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with these at 50 yards and see what happens with the JSB uh, 15.89s and let's see what we got. Very consistent pellet, very consistent the whole way. So let's put a new target up and see what we got. Okay, 
Here we go. We got our 50 yard test. JSB 1589. Yeehaw. Let's see how she does at 50. Price point 500 bucks. So let's see what we got. Slight wind right to left today, 8 miles an hour. Wow, nice group, nice group. Oh my goodness. I, that's impressive. That is very impressive. That is, you know, you'll see it on film down there, but that's, wow. That is, I threw one high, that's it. I would say that's on me. I, I'd say if I didn't throw that one, but it doesn't matter. We, it is what it is with the air gun world. Um, I would say we're three quarters of an inch down there at 50 yards. Mm, that's pretty good. Very consistent. It does like the JSB 15.8.9s uh, and also like the Barracuda match actually really well too. I've had better groups than the one I shot today, but really, really good. I'm very happy with that. Okay, here's one thing that we definitely want to do to reset this. Let's do the trigger pull on this guy. Look at that. One pound, four ounces. I think you understand what I was saying about how nice the trigger is on this. This is out of the box. So it said at one four, it's regulated. So you're getting 45 shots. You can fill to 250 bar. It is really, uh, it was very pleasant. I was very happy with the JSB 15.8.9s. Uh, Even at 100 yards, amazing accuracy. So I'm pretty very happy with this. There you go, one five. And we'll give you one more. And that one broke at one one. So, Amazing, very happy with what we have there in this gun. Um, let me just set the camera back up correctly and okay. Make sure we can get this bit here. Well, overall, uh, I give the Diana Outlaw a thumbs up. I did work with it a lot yesterday and uh, got a lot of the bugs worked out. There was a couple things I'm not real familiar with was the mag, just putting those pellets in. You'll, you'll see that on the video too. Kind of, I'm half and half on the mag. I don't know how I feel about the mag. Um, I had the magnet that connects to the other magnet here to hold the mag in place. It'll actually slide in place for you. I had to come out, so I wanted to tell you about that but there is no real drawbacks to the shooting and application of the gun. The trigger's awesome, side lever's awesome, and it does like several pellets. It doesn't like just one pellet, so I was very happy with that. You get to see its accuracy. At 50, it had a heck of a group. At 100, I was shocked at how well we did at 100. Now, we were dealing with an eight mile an hour wind, too, that, uh, you know, I have to look back on the film and see where things were and stuff, but amazing accuracy at 100 if you want to shoot cans at 100 or you want to shoot things at 100 no problem i love that uh, about a 16 grain pellet's doing about 880 feet per second guys 880 seems to be the magical feet per second for a 22 for even for a 30 cal 
I love that 880 mark. And now you can get them cranking higher and still get accurate. I understand that, but that 880 in that range is beautiful. It's money. Even at 100 yards, you see a lot of consistency. Years ago, we talked about, you know, could we even shoot 100 yards? Now we're shooting 100 yards and shooting aspirin tablets, shooting playing cards. Air guns have come a long way, and the Diana Outlaw came along with everybody else. This is a great gun for 500 bucks. Tell the guys at Air Guns of Arizona that you want one because I really, really think that this gun moving forward, this is going to be another great gun at that price point. This is Rick with Shooter1721. Thanks for watching.